Uh, the moment last season where Lena finally found out that Kara is Supergirl, there's such a huge build up to that. So, how did you guys settle on that moment that Lex was going to be the one to tell her? How did it play out? And how did you, like, how well, once we knew we had Lex Luthor and we had John Cryer, it came to us pretty quickly because, you know, uh, no one can put salt in a wound for yeah. Lena like her brother Lex. Yeah. And so that was that that was a really important moment that's going to impact this season tremendously. So go ahead. Um, so how do how do you do a story like Leviathan that Bendis is still currently working on it? So do you talk to him at all? Or you just like let's do our own. Thing? We're just doing our own. <laughs> we're inspired by uh, that, but uh, we're yeah, as we always do. You know, we're gifted these great characters from. Uh, DC to be able to use and to play with and we like, you know, we incorporate them into the stories that we are trying to so. What's it like coordinating across multiple shows for this crisis thing? Because you guys, you know, you're part of work running your own show. Now you have to coordinate with the executive producers for Flash, Arrow, Legends. Uh, how, can you give us a little insight into that process? I mean, it's uh, exhilarating and fun, uh, but it is uh, a lot to do. Uh, you know, they all the shows are wonderful, and we all have, uh, you know, a big, you know, the shows themselves are kind of a big undertaking because we try to accomplish a lot, and so it's just it's uh, it's challenging, but it's you know, it's, you know it's great to be able to do, especially for the fans. Uh, are there any new dynamics for characters that we've seen on the show these past five seasons that we haven't seen before that we might see this season? Well, well the, the dynamic between Kara and Lena, of course, is going to be completely changed. Uh, with with Lena's, um, Lena's Achilles heel is betrayal. And so the fact that the person she trusted the most, her best friend Kara, had lied to her in this way, um, you know, really devastates her. So we're going to be battling for their friendship and see if it can recover and um, other char existing character dynamics. I mean, that's the big one. Uh, but, uh, you know, the whole season, you know, the characters uh, go through a, a gauntlet every season and so this season will be no, no different. I think this season uh, we're returning to more of the, uh, the uh, relationship storytelling uh, that we uh, have done in the past and more of an escapist uh, vibe, so uh, you know, there'll be more stuff going on. Yeah, I wanted to ask, so the, the show's always been somewhat political. Uh, the last season in particular was highly topical, unfortunately. Um, uh, is that unfortunately all for us. Unfortunately for us, yeah. yeah. Is that all wrapped up, or is that still gonna, gonna play through? Because I mean, that stuff doesn't just go away. No, you know? well that's what brought us organically into the technology, because we felt like when we got, when we ousted that president, there's a lot of work to do to rebuild mm -hmm. the society and the, and the nation, and it's so overwhelming, like it is to many of us today, mm -hmm. that um, sometimes you just want to escape and hide, and that's what technology provides. And so it's sort of last season organically bleeds into this season in the way of um, who engages and does the hard work and, and which one of, of us want to just sort of escape. Okay. And how will this season build up the crisis? Is there any like little pieces you have to do to build up to that? Um, there's little pieces but beyond that. Yeah. Talk about it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.